All right, Jordan, so I'm giving this a shot. I'm going to try to make you short videos every day of foundations and zern. Those are the main two things that we do every day in school. We do the foundations and we do zern. We also do some small groups, and I may try to help you out with some writing and just some small group stuff. But as you know, most of that stuff we do in class. So, huh, what a day. I'm so sorry that it didn't work out with um, having, having you just join us virtually. Uh, but I'm happy that I can make these videos, and I hope that you know that we miss you very much, that all your classmates care a lot about you, and they're sad that, that you can't be here. Um, but I'm also proud of you for continuing to work so hard from home. I can see that you're being a great student. So we got that out of the way. Now, we are doing foundations. So, the day is done. The kids are all gone. I'm going to take a uh, start up right where I left off this morning with foundations. Uh, today's lesson was uh, week, uh, Unit 7, Week 2, Day 5. And in this lesson, we're reviewing all of these suffixes. So uh, we have the, the vowel suffixes over on this side. That's a suffix that starts with a vowel. I'll move you just a little bit closer here. So ES... E D I N G E R E S T and E. Uh, I don't think you can see. I have to drop you down here. So we have E N I S H and A B L E. All those suffixes start with a vowel, so they're vowel suffixes. Now these are all consonant suffixes. S, F U L, L E S S, N E S S, M E N T, and T Y. Okay, so you can add a consonant suffix to the end of a word, and that's what we, we really worked on. So, take the camera over here, and the first word we did was chili. Now, I don't really know, I'm not so sure about what the meaning of the, the suffix Y is, but I think it's like, um, like something is kind of that way, like... It's chill is the base word. So if the word is chill, if you add the Y to the end that says chilly, it's kind of like it's kind of cold. So chill is cold, but the chilly, chilly is it's kind of cold. That's kind of what I think of. And you'll have to kind of learn about that as we go. Sticky. So the base word is stick but we add the Y suffix, the consonant suffix, so the word is sticky. And both of these, stick and chill, are both closed syllables. All right, and then the last one, down here at the bottom, sorry, I have to move the camera again, boom. The word is bravely. Now this one is a little bit different. I don't have a marker right in my pocket, but this is a vowel consonant E. Brave is a vowel consonant E word, and if you add L-Y, bravely, that means like to do something, uh, like to, to be brave, or just to do something bravely. Um, and we can build lots of other uh, words with L Y and L-Y suffixes. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll bring you back up here. Boop. And... Also grab my marker. So how about the word lucky? You have to think of what's the base word in the word lucky. The base word in the word lucky is luck. Let's spell it L U C K luck. It's a closed syllable word. And then we just add the Y. So I guess in this case, the Y means you have luck. You're lucky. Um, yeah, that must mean that that must be what that means. Is you have it. The Y suffix means that you have it. Lucky. All right. So one more, and then I'll be done. How about safely? Safely. Get my S A F. 
So my base word is safe. I could scoop it and mark vowel, consonant, E, safe. But I can also add the L-Y to the word safe and make it safely. There you go. Safely. That's what you learned today in, um, in foundations. I also have some trick words here. I'm just going to bust through them real quick. Carry. Night. Something, large, eight, and change. Those are all of your unit seven trick words. Uh, make sure you could rewind the video. Make sure you get good at practicing. All right, I'll see you later.